people of the Wurrimulgu land of the Northern Territory, where I grew up in the small town of Tennant Creek, and while not my country, certainly where I gained deep knowledge of their culture and a bit more of an understanding of my family's own people from Victoria. I'm Dan Borsha from the ABC, and it's great to be with you this morning and across today as your Master of Ceremonies on this the second day of what I've told has been a really great conference so far, having these crucial conversations about language, how that affects culture and society, and also the impacts of intergenerational trauma and how we start to deal with that and move ahead to becoming perhaps a more reconciled nation. We've got plenty on the agenda today, lots of great panel discussions uh, with a bevy of some of Australia, New Zealand and some of the world's leading academics in this space. To get us started this morning, it's my great pleasure to welcome uh, Nunawal custodian uh, Tyrone Bell, who's going to be sharing some of uh, his knowledge here with a welcome to his country uh, that's been passed on to him by his father, who was passed on from his father before him. And after that, we're going to have a very special discussion about language with his young son, who's with us this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, please make him welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tyrone Bell. I'm a descendant of the Yunnawal people, and it's my privilege this morning to welcome you to the country of the Yunnawal people. To begin with, I would like to let you know that traditional Aboriginal law requires any visitors to their country being made welcome. This customary tradition has been passed on by all our generations. This ritual forms a part of our belief system. Its purpose is for visitors to acknowledge whose country it is, and then in turn being acknowledged as visitors and made welcome. This, this welcome custom has happened for thousands of years and we use it as protection for country against bad spirits. The country on which you stand today is that of the Yunnawal people. Being a Yunnawal traditional custodian, it gives me pleasure to invite you onto the country of my people. Dawanuna, Dawanunawal, Yulamundi, Kambara, Kindalan. In the language of my people means this is Nunawal country. Welcome to our meeting place. Enjoy. We call country the mother because as a mother cares for her children, so does the land cares for us. This is why Aboriginal people have such close ties with the land. On behalf of myself and my people, I send a warm welcome to everyone here. I am proud to be Aboriginal and one of the traditional carers of this land. I want you to feel welcome while on our country. I would like to acknowledge those that have come here to this area for the first time and warmly welcome you. For those that have been here before, welcome back. And of course, for those that live here, please continue to enjoy and behave. <laughs> we want you to feel welcome while visiting Yunnawal country and ask that you respect the land as we have done and do. So in keeping with our Yunnawal tradition and the true spirit of friendship and reconciliation, treat everyone and everything with dignity and respect. And by doing so, it is our belief that your spirit will be harmonised with your stay on Yunnawal country. It is our belief our ancestors will then in turn bless your stay on our spiritual land. May the spirit of the Slam remain with you, to, with you today, tomorrow and always. Once again, on behalf of the Yunnawal people, I welcome you to our traditional country. Thank you. So I'll t get my son Jai to um, come up and a little bit of a, um, he's taller than me now. <laughs> so Jai's been actually learning language. Come out here a bit further. I'll, I'll just pass you. Sorry. So Jai's been learning language for a couple of years now and he's very passionate about it. I actually spoke yesterday about, um, someone asked about the most important time um, uh, doing language and all that, uh, whatever happened to you and all that, and uh, it was actually to hear Jai um, speak language for the first time. Um, it's all about the next generation and passing on our knowledge and culture, but also our language uh, to that next generation. So they can speak it, but also um, share it with all you guys and that. So, of course, in that um, working 
on language for over six years. Um, it all started with um, Jackie Troy uh, um, in the front here, who's recording me. Um, Jackie actually like um, asked us to um, come and have a meeting to start to revitalise our language, and that was a really um, big thing for us. Um, of course, um, there was a lot of different um, Unawal um, people um, involved, so. Yeah, we uh, sat down with Jackie in that and uh, started to make it happen. Um, but it also, it felt that we were starting to find our soul again. And I think that's really in, important in that. Uh, for a long, long time in that, um, we walked around um, on country in that. Um, you know, like I said yesterday, um, going out doing cultural stuff, but never really had that soul, never had our, um, our direction in um, language. And that was really important to um, make that happen and partner up with um, IATSIS. So, you know, we do a lot of uh, great things with IATSIS and, you know, like working also with uh, Michael Walsh. Um, and I can't forget um, my good friend um, Doug Marnian, um, even though Doug's from um, WA, as he always tells everyone and all that. <laughs> um, yeah, we've sort of um, adopted him here in um, Unawal country. Um, and, you know, he's given us a lot of um, uh, structure, uh, but also a lot of advice in that about um, uh, where to go uh, with our language in the future and all that. So, of course, in that, um, yeah, um, it's a journey that we're just starting, um, but, you know, um, we're in for the long haul to do things. So, did you want to go? So, I might get your sister to read that, just a bit of brief history about us. We were sitting up last night trying to work out how many other things we've got to put in there, but we only got half an hour. Because <laughs> my late father actually said this to me, that last bit there, the meaning of um, Unimal, it's actually we the people. So with language, we actually um, put that into when we're saying we the people. Um, of course, we're meaning um, us as a uh, Unimal people. Um, but people who weren't here yesterday, um, I actually said about why I say Unimal, because uh, Ngunnawal is the white man's interpretation. So we've actually gone back to the old ways of um, saying it. Um, some people still love to use Ngunnawal, but that's up to them, even in our community and that. Um, but I think, you know, like um, if we're learning language and doing it, it's got to be done right. Uh, that's just my opinion. So, do you want to go to the next? Yeah. Um. So, we actually... Um, don't put on your... Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, a few years ago on that, we um, taught uh, Malcolm Turnbull the acknowledgement to country. And like I said yesterday, that was uh, very, very um, big for us. And, of course, in that uh, Jai was with me and also a uh, cousin of mine, uh, Glenn Freeman. So we went up there and that and uh, didn't know what to expect in that uh, from a Prime Minister. Um, of course, went into his um, office and, um, yeah, jumped on his big computer and that. Uh, uh, Jai actually asked him if he plays Pac-Man on there, but he said no. <laughs> but um, we actually uh, um, had a good discussion with um, Malcolm. Uh, he's a quick learner. Um, you know, some people might say different thing about him, but um, no, like uh, he really um, embraced learning the language and it was the first time ever in Australian um, history that a then Prime Minister got up and, and spoke in um, not just new normal language but Aboriginal language. So the reason we also agreed to, to do this was to um, expose um, our Aboriginal Indigenous languages right around Australia to say, well, you know, you should be um, helping um, not just us, but um, everyone around the country in that um, to, you know, continue their language. So, of course, there's a few good um, stories that have um, come out of it. So, Malcolm was meant to share that with everyone, but um, he didn't. Um, so, that's why we're actually going around teaching the acknowledgement to country um, with all um, departments and that. Someone asked me yesterday about um, 
having this community workshops. But look, when I get a few more community members involved in that, um, I think I'll um, open that up to the public then. But we'll, um, yeah, we'll keep on working on that. So um, I'll get Jai to um, put it on and then That's not the one, son. That one is. The Prime Minister. Yungu Galanyin Nalawiri. Danayi Nunawul Dara. Wangara Lin Jin Yin. Maran Bolan Bugarabang. Today, Mr. Speaker, we are meeting together on Nunawul country and we acknowledge and pay our respects to their elders. I rise today to deliver the 2016 Closing the Gap Statement. And there was um, actually a funny story behind that because a couple of days later, um, Malcolm uh, was crying in that. And then I was sitting down trying to have uh, tea in that and uh, the phone was just going um, really mad. So I said, oh, well, I better pick it up and see who it is in that. And it was all the media. Um, right around, um, not just in Australia, right around the world. And someone said to me, well, why'd you make the Prime Minister cry? <laughs> and I said, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and, you know, I just said, well, um, I don't know. Like, and then one of his advisors uh, rang up and said, uh, um, he actually read one of our Dreamtime stories and uh, started crying. And um, I think uh, um, he was interviewed uh, by Stan Grant Jr., um, so, you know, um, that's one thing I can also, um, you know, put in the um, things that I've, I've achieved was make a Prime Minister cry. <laughs> so. But I'll actually, um, I'll get Jai to actually, like, say the uh, acknowledgement. So, um, you want to do that then? All right. Dara Nuna, Dara Nunawal. Yangu Golanyin Nalawiri Dunai Nunawal Daura Wangawalijinyin Marin Balan Bugaraban. So yesterday was also like saying about um, you know the next generation and all that and to have Jai here and that to um, to to do this is uh, it's really big for me um, because it's also to do with well-being. Um, and, you know, like, I go into a lot of schools um, and talk to um, Indigenous uh, students and that, and a lot of them um, don't know where they come from. Um, so we're trying to change that. We're, we're giving, them, giving them, um, you know, like culture, but also even if they don't come from here and that, um, if they want to uh, learn our language, we're happy to, to do that. So, um, you know, we, we've got to look after... Um, our brothers and sisters collectively as well. So, what's next? So, there's a few words here and that. So, we sort of were trying to think about how we were going to um, do all this. So, I might get Jai just to go through them and that um, uh, one word at a time, or yep. do you want to just read them right through? It's up to you. I'll go through them one word at a time. Okay. So I guess we could just start with welcome. So if, if, if you guys just wanted to say it after me, and I'll, we'll break, break the words down first and then say it all in one big go. All right, so you, you. Ma, ma, lun, lun. Di. di, yum a uh, lun di. Now just try saying that again, but just a tiny bit quicker. <laughs> Yumalundi. You guys all just said welcome. Now the next one, uh, farewell. So, nol, yun. Nol, yun. Nol, yun. Farewell. Next one's pretty easy, yes, and that is just ni. Nee. Nee. <laughs> All right, um, 
Now we got no. So break this one up again. Um, gu, ra, gan. Guragan. Guragan. All right, up to bad. All right, good, ba. Good, ba. Then on to good, so yed. Un. Yedun. All right. Up to day. So un. Gu. Ru. Un guru. Un guru. All right. Now home. So this one is L. E. Mick. And that's it. L. E. Mick. All right, now up to thank you. This word can also be said separately. So, John, ye, ma, ba. John, ye, ma, ba. If you just want to say John as well, that just means just thanks. All right now, the next one, crossing paths. So, da, or dari, mura, dari, mura. All right, now, National Library of Australia. <laughs> and that so, took a while to do, didn't it? Yep. <laughs> so, first word, Australia. And then, like at the end of Nuna Wall, just wall. So, Australia Wall. The next word, in, D, G. So, in Digi. Then the last word, gu, gu. Ran. ran. So, do you want to try saying that all together? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Australia wall, indigi, guran. National Library of Australia. Now, the last word, sorry day, this can also be said separately. So, ga, ga. ya, Li. Yeah. Gayali. Gayali. Then for day, we've done this one. Un, un gu, gu, ru. ru. So now say it as one word. Gayali. Gayali. Un guru. Un guru. Sorry, day. Now we'll just go through those, all these just once more. So welcome. Yumalundi. Farewell, Nolyun. Um, yes, so ni. Good again. No, um, goodba, which is bad. Yedun, good. Um, up to day again, Udun Guru. Home, Elamik. Thank you, so Jan Yimaba. Crossing Paths, Dari Mura. National Library of Australia, so Australia Wal. Indigi. Guran. Right, try that one again, except I'm just going to say the whole thing and then I'll get you to say it back to me. Australia Wal, Indigi, Guran. Yeah, done. <laughs> and then the last one, Gayali Unguru. So, Gayali Unguru. Very good. <laughs> so, we've actually um, also uh, a few years ago started working on a writing system and that. So, that was working a lot with um, Jackie Michael and uh, Doug Marnie. So um, that's virtually like up and running now. So once I get um, more people to have more community meetings and all that, uh, we'll look to actually um, put that out in the community and all that. So with these uh, workshops and that. So um, yeah, like it's um, like Ray said yesterday, it's all about being um, patient. 
uh, but also like um, yeah, we also like to move things along a, at a bit of pace in it. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll get there um, this year with um, uh, having the community <laughs> workshops. So did you want to go to the next one? Yep. So this is the other one what um, um, I developed with um, Doug. And it also, like, you know, um, listening to what Jackie did uh, with, uh, down in Sydney with uh, Darrell. So I actually had a look at um, Jackie's work and um, I said, yeah, no, like, uh, I reckon I can um, put something together. So we were actually engaged by the Minerals Council of Australia. So they only gave us three weeks to put all this together. Um, so, you know, I sat down with Doug and that, and uh, yeah, we uh, sorted sorted it out. But um, um, it, it was a lot of long nights and all that um, to piece it all together. So a lot of people want the wording, but. I'm at the final stages with um, the Australian Government, the Prime Minister and Cabinet about the intellectual property rights. So hopefully in that, um, as soon as I get that email off them and that, I'll be able to share the wording in it. So I'll get Jai to um, play it and um, yeah, see what you think. So after um, doing that, I've had a few approaches from, um, you know, like uh, uh, rock stars, you could say, and all that. Um, <laughs> Want to do a few things. Um, so yeah, there's one or two people in that where I might be able to um, interpret um, some stuff and all that, and uh, yeah, do a song. So um, we wanted to really uh, do the anthem and all that to uh, put that out there as well. So. Um, next, yeah. So, any questions? Where's the? Sorry, there have been objections to the first word of the of the Australian National Anthem, Australia's young and, being young and free, whereas you've got the oldest civilization um, in in the world here. Do you have do you have any concerns with with that? You always get concerns in that um, when you're 
um, doing stuff to uh, do with um, you know, like um, being uh, colonised. Um, but I'll make it clear, it's not like word for word. So it's sort of our own, um, but you'll understand that more when you actually um, see what we have uh, written. Um, and, you know, like, I did uh, go away and have a think about it and say, well, do we need to do this? And then I said yes, because it's also about um, reconciliation. And it's also like um, working with uh, different people on that to, to say, you know, you, you can do anything when you start to put your mind to it to do with language. And that's one thing I've learnt in that, where people have said to me, no, you can't do that. And I'll say, OK, well, I'm going to go away and I'm going to do it. And, you know, like, um, you know, that's why I'm a mover and shaker in the business world and that, because I'm, there's no word as, um, you know, like, um, no. Um, I just go out there and do it. But, Are you writing a grammar for normal world as well? Yep, that's what we've um, developed okay. with um, IATSIS. Yes, and uh, Jackie was... Um, is it um, an ergative language? Sorry? Is it an ergative language? I can't remember. Is, oh. <laughs> does, the transitive, do the, does the object of the transitive sentence mark the same as the object of... Uh, sorry, the, uh, the subject of intransitive sentence? A lot, uh, lot of the Aboriginal languages have that... Um, um. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it is it ergative? Some are Aboriginal languages are and some aren't. I'm just wondering. Oh, it, it's like ours is very basic. So mm -hmm. we only got um, uh, three vowels. That's right. Yeah. I, U and A. Okay. It's so, um, of course, when we put it out there and that and um, um, show what we're doing and all that, you'll um, understand it. And, you know, like working with um, uh, linguists, I always say it's like, a, you know, having um, a mechanic. Um, so, you know, they fine-tune it and all that. Um, and But, you know, like, uh, um, Doug's a very good uh, mechanic. Um, okay. <laughs> so, you know, like, but also working with um, other uh, good mechanics like Jackie and also Michael. Okay. Yep. Hello, um, thank you both, that was fantastic. Um, something you said, Tyrone, about Malcolm was meant to share that with everyone, but he didn't. So was that about the acknowledgement, teaching the acknowledgement to country, of country in Nunawar? Yeah, well, our idea in that was to, um, not just his staff and all that, but um, you know, start off at Parliament House and um, move it out. Um, but naturally that never happened. And you know, I can say I'm, I'm actually really disappointed in that that, that didn't happen um, because, you know, <laughs> Again, it's all about uh, reconciliation, and um, you know I think he just uh, used it for political um, uh, agendas. I'm happy to talk to him if he's listened to this. <laughs> um, I've just got a question. I'm a primary school teacher and working with Indigenous students and non-Indigenous students. Um, I would love to do more. And um, how do we how do we connect with what you're doing? Um, and who's involved with the community discussions? Like, as in, can, is that something that I can get fellow teachers involved with and anything like that, you know? Yeah, well, it's, you know, like, um, it's hard sometimes in that, like, with the educa education side of things um, because, you know, like, um, we deal with federal government but also to do with um, the ACT government and... We're slowly starting to teach um, the people in charge of education about language. So, you know, they keep on saying, oh, you know, well, um, we're looking at it, blah, blah, blah. But if anyone lives, like, here in the ACT, they know how long the ACT government takes to do stuff. Um, and, you know, I'm not saying that as a bad thing and all that, but uh, um, I'm actually talking to the right people now where... Um, things might start to get m moved along. So. Is there any way that if you could see people through, is there any way that we can help with that? I always love help. Yeah. Um, but how? What's, what's the way? Well, that's why we'll have to sit down and uh, go over it. Um, and, you know, like uh, um, Jackie Troy here said that um, she's got to assist us um, in any way. Um, but also we've got IATSIS with uh, Doug 
and um, I'll probably add Michael too. Uh, Tyrone, we've probably got time for one more, I think, yep. down the front here. <laughs> well, I, uh, thanks to you both for that. It's great. I'm one of the mechanics. Uh, and I, I guess uh, hearing, hearing your presentation and also hearing uh, what you taught Malcolm Turnbull to do, uh, one of the questions we face if, if we have to do not a, just an acknowledgement uh, to country in a meeting where it's not practical to get a welcome to country uh, is do we feel at ease making an acknowledgement of country in Ngunnawal? That is, we don't want to use the language impudently or, or without feeling we have the, the right to do so as a non-Aboriginal person. So I just wanted to raise that with you and other people here because it's, you know, we don't want to step over boundaries where we shouldn't be stepping, but we do want to um, show all respect we can. Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's about all of us. It's not just not about um, us learning our own language and all that. It, it's about um, getting the wider community involved. So everyone learns um, language around Canberra and regions, but also like um, right around in Australia and all that where people engage with Aboriginal communities um, to learn language. And also, you know, it uh, breaks down a lot of barriers in that too. Um, and, you know, people go, oh, I didn't know Aboriginal people were like that. Um, because, you know, like, um, uh, as uh, Kim Scott said yesterday, and that there's, you know, I saw a few people out there and all that, what, you know, they'll say, um, there's no, there's only a, one Australian language and that's it. Um, and, you know, that's fine if they want to believe that they can. But there's a big shift probably in the last five years in that where a lot of people are coming to us to learn about culture but also to, to learn about language. And there was uh, someone in the media um, who said to Malcolm Turnbull and that, that, why are you learning a dead language? Um, so, you know, like, that's why I like to, um, you know, keep that in the back of my mind so we can work together and then everyone learn language except for that person and then we'll go up and um, yeah, see what he has to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, all good. So if you have any other questions and all that, um, yeah, just come and see us at morning too. Thank you. <laughs> Jan Yimaba, thank you for that. And I know that I really appreciate it, Tyrone, and, and also Jai. And I'm not sure about you, but it fills my heart with great joy to hear someone so young speaking their language. And it makes me feel as though the future, at least for Nunawal, is in safe hands. And uh, so thank you very much for that. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause, please. <laughs>